I don't know if I want to plasti dip it. What up YouTube? I'm Host Sway. I'm back for another video. Today we're gonna be plasti dipping the wheels. We removed the plasti dip in the previous video. We made a black plasti dip. This is a metalizer. And we got the black one. We're gonna be doing a black coat again. And we're gonna to top it off with a metalizer finish. So first off, when you want to plastic dip your wheels, we're gonna to have to clean off all the brake dust and, and wash it down and get it clean before we actually apply the first coat. All right, so we got dip release to put on the tires. That's how you do it. Now you can plastic dip your wheels. So if you're like me and you masturbate every night, you don't fucking need this gun. You can just go ahead and use your thumb. Now, in all seriousness, you might need this gun. Your fingers are not never gonna be able to stay consistent throughout the whole dipping process. We're just gonna show you the process with this one wheel. We're gonna do the same to all the other ones and you'll end up seeing the end result with it. All right, so we're gonna grab this back and we're gonna put it around the rotor. All right, so we're gonna spray a light coat. It's gonna be our first coat. We wouldn't wanna make it that dark. We just wanna prep the tire for the next couple of coats. So you're gonna wanna jack off the can really good. Once you're done jacking off the can, we're gonna go ahead and apply the first coat. All right, so we're running into some problems because it's a little cold out here. The Plasti Div is not coming out of the spray can the way we want it. It's coming out spotty and a lot of, it's just causing issues. So we're gonna put it in a cup of hot water if you're trying to Plasti Dip your wheels in the cold. This will be a very good method to get the, the plastic inside of this nice and warm so when it comes out, it will actually come out consistent versus coming out spotty like it's coming out right now. We're just gonna let it sit here for a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. All right, so warming up the can has worked. We're gonna add the second coat right here. As you can see, it's coming out more fluent and it's not coming out as spotty as the first coat. All right, so now this is the third coat. When you're applying the plastic dip, you wanna be as far like five to six inches when you're spraying it so you can cover it enough and it'll come out even the closer you get the the nastier of a look you get so you want to stay like five to six inches away while you're spraying it i believe this is the fourth coat when you're applying plasti dip you want to make sure you get in all the spokes if you have a rim like this that way on every single coat it'll come out even you want to make sure you get under them, around them. Make sure you get every single thing. And once you're finishing off every coat, you want to make sure you add another nice little thin layer around the wheel so it'll peel off easier. Now we're gonna do the metalizer. I already had it in water since it's still cold right now. We're gonna do three coats of this. This is gonna be the last coat of metalizer. All right, so now we're gonna remove the plastic dip overspray. With that thing we put in the beginning, it's actually going to help it come off the tire nicely. And we're also going to be able to remove it smoothly around the wheel. As you guys can see, that came off easily. No need to put anything around your tire. Now we're just going to remove the bag that we used to, to protect the rotor and caliper. So we're done. We managed to plastic dip my wheels. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, please smash the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.